Hi guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about my newly developed Trikopia 5 Discord. So this is the overview of a system uh, which tried to take uh, advantage of the free messaging app Discord to relay signal sent out from one metadata to another over the internet. So when you look at the system here, uh, which is a very simple, it's essentially uh, MetaTrader actually tried to send out trade signal to this call and uh, another MetaTrader actually tried to wrap the signal receive on this call and so places orders accordingly. Now when you look at uh, the picture here, it's actually in order to send out a trade signal to this call, you need to get your this call server ID, so which is a this call server webhook, uh, very simple. Right, so in order, in order to uh, to get uh, messages on this call, so you need to get um, you, you need to create a Discord bot token and um, add the bot to your server. So don't worry about technical stuff. So um, how to get these IDs are actually um, already detailed in my setup, guys. So you just go down here, so everything is actually provided in details and you just follow instructions exactly and you will be okay. Now, um, so uh, in, in order to set up, so first of all, you need to install Python. Okay, so the system actually tried to use a Python to monitor, to monitor incoming messages from Discord. So you got to install Python. So this is the link. You can follow instruction here, and so it should be okay. Then you need to get the uh, Discord server webhook. Now, uh, when when you open your Discord account, so you go to this website and open your Discord account. So when it's ready, you just log in your account, and this is what you see in your account. And you click on the plus side to write a server. All right, let's say this is a list of my servers. Uh, I already created my server try copier. So in order to get the try copier webhook, I go to click on this uh, side. Okay. Right. Go to iterations and click the webhook. Okay. And you want the new webhook? You click in here. Okay. Right. Um, now the second thing is uh, so in order in order to to get incoming signal from the Discord, you need to create the Discord box token and add the box to the servers that actually receives your trade signal. Okay. Now how to raise a Discord box token? So don't worry, I already provide a link here for you guys. Okay. So. Uh, so they just uh, go to this website and follow exactly instructions. Okay, go to this website. Okay, follow instructions exactly instruction here, and you should be ready to go. All right. Now having uh, so having got uh, so this call. Right, server webhook and uh, you already created block tokens and uh, added block to the, your server. So next thing you want to do and you copy the EIs uh, on the MetaTrader sender and uh, the similar EIs on MetaTrader receiver and uh, necessary files. Okay. So this is yeah, so the, the meta trader on my left hand side is uh, the sender and the one on the right hand side is receiver. So uh, so basically you just click on the link below the video to download the trial versions and uh, with my uh, setup guys uh, instruction you just follow them exactly. And on the sender side you click on fire, you open data folder and go to this folder and copy and actually you copy the sender EA under this folder Xbooks okay uh, you don't need to write this uh, subfolder this call signal sender you just copy directly under Xbooks folder all right 
Similarly, on the receiver side, you go to fire, you go to open data folder, so you go to MQL file, Xbox. Okay, you just copy receiver EA, you no need to create a Discord uh, signal receiver. Okay, I create the subfolder here. So this this is the one you download it uh, under the link, right? Now on receiver side, uh, more things you got to uh, copy into your MQL file folder. Uh, you go to files, okay, and you got to copy. You got to put these three files under this folder. Okay, this call signal manager dog bats. Okay, the first one. The second one is this call signal manager dog PYC. And the third one is a doc env. Okay, you, you got to copy these three files uh, under these folders. Okay, files. All right, so everything uh, is ready to go. All right, now what I'm going to do, so uh, we, we're going to try to, to run tests. Okay, so on the center side, I want to load the EA okay you remember this this is the webhook you got to copy uh, the webhook um, into here so if you look at the the overview picture this is the webhook on the center side okay you, you get the discourse of a webhook and when you load the EA you got to copy the webhook into here all right so I have done that click OK so the uh, sender EA is, is uh, running, right? Similarly, on the receiver size, so you got to load the EA. Sorry, before you load the EA, um, one more thing you got to do. So you go to fire, you go to open data folder. All right. You go to MTO file, you go to fire, and you got to open this file doc env to edit your token, your box token. Okay, so just use any editor in your computer to edit the box token. Okay, so just a moment, uh, it's still running. All right, so I, I Open this file. All right. All right. So, uh, so on this file, you see a Discord API tokens. So you got to copy um, the box token here. So, so, so this is where actually you got to get the, your Discord box token okay right you got to follow instruction here how to get it, your disco web tokens all right this link all right all right so you got to uh, to book your disco web uh, sorry box token here and set the file close it all right now you just load the EA right click allow DNF imports okay and you see a DOS uh, command prompt window actually pops up and you got to wait for it to uh, initialize everything yeah I think it's now ready so we're going to play the fun part which is uh, to play a couple of tries okay so uh, now I want to play um, I want to open Euro USD right go to trading New order. Okay, you see, uh, yeah, so on the center side, I, I just placed uh, Euro USD on the receiver side, so actually just copies the drive that I just opened here. Okay, let's place the, another order. Let's say I want to place a USD Swift Fangs, I want to place a sale order. Okay, sell. All right, and you see, 
Okay, so on the center side, USD Swiss franc supplies uh, successfully. On receiver side, uh, okay, so on supplies copies uh, successfully. Okay, let's uh, try another. Let's say uh, USD Japanese yen. Okay, I want to place a buy order. Buy. All right. So uh, by USD Japanese yen supply uh, successfully here and so on the receiver size is uh, copied uh, successfully too. All right. So let's say I want to close uh, one of the open positions. Let's want to, uh, to close uh, Euro USD. I want to close this one. Close this one. Right. And see on receiver size uh, Euro USD's uh, position was also closed successfully. Let's run to close the uh, switch fence, USD switch fence. Close this one. Right. You see on the receiver side, it's a close successfully. Okay. So uh, you can play around with the dry versions. Okay. So, right. So, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.